Hi everyone, Luke here from Figmento Films, back for some content creation, education for any businesses, brands or marketers looking to make the most out of photo and video. So in today's episode, we're looking at scope creep, why more can be less. For businesses looking to use photo or video services to raise their brand, I'm going to explain how scope creep may negatively affect output. I'll also give some tips on getting the most out of your production without compromising on quality. Firstly, what is scope creep? Scope creep simply refers to the scope of a project growing beyond the perimeters of the brief or beyond the perimeters of feasibility. It's only natural that we look to get as much bang for our buck as possible. However, much like Newton's third law, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. For video production, this can mean that any time something is added to a project, we may also be taken away from it in another area. For businesses wisely looking to invest in photo and video services, scope creep tends to happen when attempting to cram as much into a photo or video shoot as possible. It may also happen during production days in the form of asking for extra content such as behind the scenes photos or shots not documented in the brief. The first point is understandably due to budgeting reasons and the second point is often simply due to being caught up in the excitement of the shoot and not fully understanding how deviating from the brief may complicate a shoot. So why is it best to avoid scope creep? Well, here are five reasons. Reason number one, time. A good creative should be able to give you a fairly accurate estimation of their production time. This is based on their skill, experience and schedule. After consultation, it is up to us to inform you of the feasibility of a project based on the amount of content versus the time required to produce that content. The more complex a brief becomes, the chances are that to keep that content to a high standard, more time will be required to produce it. For example, it may require two days to produce 20 photos to the same standard as it takes one day to produce 10. If we were to squeeze those 20 photos into a single day, we in turn have to spend less time on any one single photo. Reason number two, logistics. In a world dominated by social media, businesses now require more diverse marketing. From video to photo and animation, fortunately, most creatives are now multi-talented and offer a range of services. The flip side to this is that projects may become more logistically challenging. A client that would like both product photos and product videos may not understand that both of these disciplines often require different approaches in terms of technical skill and production. For example, we may use powerful strobe lights to take photos and continuous lights to make videos. Through careful planning and prep, we can meet these needs. However, if extra content is added to a project post planning stage, then it may not be logistically feasible to meet deadlines or keep quality standards. This is why we sit with you to decide your exact needs and plan accordingly. Reason number three, post-production and delivery. Every piece of content that is delivered typically goes through a stringent editing process. This is in fact where we spend most of our hours. Any new piece of content is likely to increase these editing times. In turn, this will affect one of two things. Firstly, the delivery time may be delayed to allow editing standards to remain high. Or secondly, it may mean a lower quality edit to achieve a deadline. Reason number four, pay. There may be a perception that a creative will include any extra work as part of that original brief. However, to achieve any works outside of that brief, the creative will likely have to work lots of extra hours. Like any job, there should be no expectation from either the creative or the client that anyone should work for free. Any extra work should come with the understanding that the creative will be compensated for their time accordingly. The good news is that most creatives tend to go above and beyond and will try to accommodate your needs. However, they should never be pressured into working for free. Reason number five, everything ultimately comes down to quality. We work closely with you to understand and achieve everything you're asking for within the constraints of your brief. Working to a brief means a higher quality final product. This is because all of our efforts can be focused accordingly from planning and prep to production. Like water in a glass of squash, the more you add, the more diluted the squash becomes. My philosophy is you should strive to have the best content, not the most content. If you've enjoyed this video, then please hit the subscribe button. If you're looking for professional photo and video services, check out our website, www.figmentofilms.com. I'll catch you next time.